Hello guys and gals, welcome to a 7 minutes or less segment and today we will be talking about Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 5, What Comes After. And that's the title, not what I'm asking. Spoilers, by the way. If you're not familiar with what I do here, introductions first, my name is Doug and I review TV shows and movies and the ones that come together and make a universe. That's definitely something I need to work on. Once in a while, I will take specific episodes within a season that I choose, and in this case, Walking Dead is one of them. And, shall I say, to start us off, Season 9 has pretty much done something that I think will be definitely overlooked. It's gotten good again. But sadly, at this point, I don't think anyone gives a shit. From what the show once was to what it is now, so many people have just clocked out. And at, at this point, it's folly to say, go catch up to see better storytelling at the height of Season 9, because Season 9 is where we should have seen it two seasons ago. And it's really no secret that I really didn't care for the last two seasons. If you didn't know this, you can go and check out my reviews for Season 7 and 8. Um, granted, Season 8 was better than 7, but I absolutely loathed uh, Season 7. Not my favorite. Um, uh, episode 1 of Season 7 was a living nightmare, and it was well made, but every episode following there afterwards, to me, just... <sighs> too many stories going on at once, uh, too many focused points on characters I didn't care about, S the same old spiel about humanity and how the world is, prolonging the confrontation between Rick and Negan, and by God, did they stretch that out to a unrealistic degree, but... Then they kill off Carl, and I just feel like there was just more and more people finding reasons to just kind of hightail it out of this show. And it's because it's their favorite characters that are being killed off one by one. In terms of favorite characters, Rick Grimes is one of my favorites. And to see this episode finally put Rick in the limelight we have been waiting to see is nothing more than absolutely accepted in my eyes. I absolutely love his character, and this episode signifies his departure and I mean what better way than to question his morals deconstruct him as a person and keep a focus on him because that's what you should have done from the beginning okay here's our his morals here's what he's conflicted against here's the people who are conflicting him and oh shit this is the final episode with him so what are we gonna do and again Seven and eight did not do that. And before I get on a big frickin' rant over the last two seasons and what they were and what they should have been, I really gotta say that this episode of What Comes After was the best damn Walking Dead episode I have seen in a long time. This is Rick Grimes' final episode, yes, but he isn't dead. Not yet, anyway. But it's led to some excellent storytelling that has finally reached into my heart and made me care again. Rick was injured in the last episode trying to lead a herd of walkers to the bridge they have been building for some time. And hopes to lead the walkers there, make the bridge collapse, and thusly the walkers are just taken away by the current. In the meantime, he reflects over the past decisions and reminisces over people of the past. And mind you, he's losing a lot of blood, so he's in a more of a lucid state. People that he dreams about, or at least envisions, is Shane, played by John Bernthal, and then Herschel, played by Scott Wilson. And unfortunately, Scott Wilson had passed away in the last couple of weeks, and so he died after he filmed these segments. So it was really cool to see him, and I do hope that Scott Wilson rests in peace. But this is mind-boggling for me, considering this show is back to its roots from ca to character-driven motivations. That is what Walking Dead was all about. But sadly, in the last two seasons, Rick was mostly absent from any huge character motiv motivations and character arcs where I very nearly detached from his character making his character i you know still lovable and i loved his character but i didn't remember why i did here i am reminded why i love his character so much he never backed down he tried to keep things together no matter the stakes no matter the costs the situations were powerful enough to keep him motivated to hold the line making him an effective leader this episode shows that these Morals don't exactly work as so many people have many different agendas of their own. Rick is almost too good for this new world, so while so many people are angry and weary over the past, they're also angry and weary over Rick as well. 
so nothing is hunky-dory. To get a little more closure over the people he lost to, as this is an episode that sort of breaks its own walls in realism as our characters resurface to talk to Rick. Dream sequences of the fellow old characters are like inner monologues Rick is having with himself to move forward. I, and I just, this kind of treatment, this sort of thing where they're treating Rick as kind of like a, a weary figure trying to still make sense of the world just led me to some very emotional moments. The one thing I appreciate more than anything is how even though they advertise that this is Rick Grimes' final episode, this isn't, this isn't the end for Rick. Apparently there's going to be a three-picture deal for more of Rick's story arc, so that's cool. But I didn't feel cheated when he didn't die. I, in fact, I was kind of glad, considering Walking Dead is no stranger to how it's gonna happen. Um, really because i mean let's face it with walking dead it's no stranger to pulling punches i mean do we have to mention glenn and what happened in season six to what happened in seven season seven episode one i'll say no more but this was a proper send-off with a little bit of of the wicked tricksy and that may or may not piss off some viewers i understand that someone would be like oh god come on man why didn't you kill him off can you just stick to what you say you're gonna do but in this case i'm glad they didn't kill rick off yet considering he is an awesome character the absence from the group and the storyline feels like this show is gonna go in much different directions with a fresh new take in the end i love this episode and it's the first in a long time that i have loved an episode i am finally looking forward to the next episode of walking dead but the question is are you let me know down below so let me wrap this up guys and i really do appreciate you watching have you seen the episode of walking dead season nine episode five what goes on at, what, what what comes after yeah that um thank you so much for watching as i said before if you like this and want to see more please let me know down below give this thing a like a share comment of course and as always Subbing would make all the difference. I will get you more videos in the future. You all have a fantastic and wonderful day.